हाई एवरी वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर आई होप कि ये साल आपके लिए बहुत अच्छा रहे बहुत सारी ब्लेसिंग्स लाए एंड काफ़ी अच्छे मोमेंट्स लाए राइट तो नया साल है तो ऑब्वियसली अलॉन्ग विथ आर पर्सनल ग्रोथ हम प्रोफेशनल ग्रोथ की भी बात कर रहे होंगे राइट एंड इफ यू आर सम वन इफ़ यू आर ए फ्रेशर और और ए कॉलेज स्टूडेंट और इवन एन एक्सपीरियंस कैंडिडेट यू नो हु इज़ लुकिंग टू लेवल अप देयर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स और probably doing the interview preparation so here is something for you and i would say this this is something a kind of push for me as well well what i have started uh, what i thought of to do is that to start neat code 150 problems well as you know that i have taken multiple podcast on my channel right i have uh, had a discussion with multiple candidates who uh, have given multiple interviews and even i myself have given multiple interviews and it take around 2 years now so this is the series and you must be if you are not aware so you must be aware i'm sure well this is a series designed by a google engineer and these are the 150 questions which are going to help you a lot because they cover all the major topics along with the all the major patterns that you should know about and when it comes uh, to the interview preparation definitely they covers the important question right obviously you cannot solve all the questions there are so many questions but you know to give it a start or you know to brush up to revise definitely you can start with this list so we'll be solving one problem every day we'll be starting from our first problem from the scratch itself no matter even if the question is easy sometimes easy is also needed so that is what it is so yeah that was your new year gift or even you know it would be a push for me as well like if you guys will be watching it and even i'll be solving it i'll be record- recording the video so that's what i, I have thought of So today we'll be starting with our first topic that is arrays and hashing and from that our first question is contains duplicate uh, in terms of difficulty it has been marked as an easy problem right so again we'll hope on to the problem we'll understand it we'll discuss the approaches and then we'll solve this problem so let's get started ओके गाइस तो बैकग्राउंड में आपको कुछ आवाज़ आ रही होगी है ना आई अंडरस्टैंड तो एक्चुअली नया साल है तो आ, हमारे आ, पड़ोसी में ऐसा रामायण पाठ चल रहा है ना तो जय श्री राम जय श्री राम बोल के पहला क्वेश्चन करेंगे तो थोड़ा सा उससे आप मैनेज कर लेना पहली वीडियो है बट इम्पॉर्टेंट था और ये यू you नो know, कि पूरे टाइम चलता है तो दैट्स वॉट इट इज़ तो तो जी शुरू करते हैं पहली प्रॉब्लम से तो अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज contains duplicate so the problem is easy only so the problem says given an integer array nums returns true if any value appears at least twice in the array and return false if every uh, element is indistinct cool so we are having an array and uh, basically what it will do like true will be returned in case if any value appears at least twice so whatever let's say you are having a value x and that value appears at least twice means at least two times it has to be there it could be more than that but minimum two times minimum two times it has to be there in the array right if that is the case you have to return instantly true right you, it's not like that any value they are not saying uh, any specific or such like that so any value just return true and if that is not the case so you have to return false that won't be the case in case every element is distinct right so so that's what it is uh, so first example we do have is nums so here you can see one is appearing twice and it is satisfying the condition so obviously we'll be having true similarly in example 2 uh, you can see all the elements are indistinct sorry all the elements are distinct so we'll be getting false and in example 3 you can see one is there three is there are multiple elements right so you got the question i mean you must be able to understand it so um there are multiple approaches obviously to solve a particular problem depends what the problem is but here for sure there is so brute force approach the first approach that i would say will come to your mind and even if nothing hits to your mind that is completely fine i mean don't take that sort of its stress so one thing that you can think of is that what we can do is just pick one value let's say i i i'm picking up this one and uh i'll check i'll check with two hey are you one three are you one one this is one we got a match twice twice minimum we need we got it so return true right so that's how we'll continuing 
let's say uh, if there was not one, there was five, so we didn't got a match. Then, so what we'll do? We'll proceed ahead. We'll pick two. We'll compare this two with three. Then with this one. Similarly, then th we'll pick this three, and then we'll compare it one with the with the last element. I hope you got it in this way. See, we have one, two, three, five, right? So we first took this one. We compared all the remaining elements. Then we took two. Then we compared it with all the remaining elements. Then we took three. Then we compared it with all the remaining elements. Now, do, although but this thing can comes to your mind. Okay, why not two? We are comparing with one as well, because it's not needed, right? Even see, if it was a match before, then at the instant at that time only we must have returned true. So the second loop, uh, the second iteration itself is not needed, right? So that's why. Uh, for so for in this case, um, just writing a pseudo code kind of thing or how it would be that first we'll have our first loop right i less than the length of our nums i plus plus so guys i understand the sound is there but see it's uh ramayana part going on so new year is starting i'm just but love many videos aapko ramayana part sunne ko bhi mil raha hai. so that is also one thing so um please bear thoda sa right and um, first video hai and next time see i'll take care of this thing so that is the thing so what we will do we will uh start this loop from i plus one and yeah that will continue till anums dot length j plus plus and yeah here here we'll doing the here we'll be doing the in the if condition we'll be doing this comparison part right so that is a brute force approach that uh this is how we can do but can we can we do something better than this I mean, is there any other possible way you can think of? So, other possible way, right? If you have explored the um, hashing, you can think of is that what we can do? Why not we take each element and store each element where element would be the key and how many times it uh, it occurrence has been? That would be the frequency. Can't we take in this way? So, one one has occurred one time only. Two has occurred. Okay. We'll be going through, like we'll we'll be iterating through element and as if it is occurring, we are putting an entry. We are putting an entry in our in our hash map. So one we have seen once, two we have seen uh, as of now, just one time only. Similarly, three we have seen just one time only. Now again one. So one is already there. The entry is already there. Means we have to increase its occurrence by one. So it is two now. Right, so we are we have our hash map ready. Next thing, what uh, we can do is we'll be doing is that we'll be it uh, we'll be iterating our hash map and we'll be checking if there is any key whose occurrence or we can say whose value is two, right? Two or greater than um, equal to two, whatever you want to put. So if that is the case, what we'll be doing is that uh, if that is the case, we'll be returning true, right? Because that's what our condition is. Now. Uh, other thing that also you can uh, do is that so here the scenario is that minimum two two occurrence is needed, right? Minimum two is that it means at least twice it is satisfying. So instead of uh, taking a hash map means creating a head entry and all this way, you can take a hash set also. You can take a set also. Set you know set is a data structure which con which contains only which don't in sorry distinct values only. So no duplicates allowed. So what we'll be doing we'll be putting our element in set. So one we have seen we'll put in our set, in, in set. Two we have seen we'll put this in set. Three we have seen we'll put this in set. Okay, again, and with putting the values we'll check also if this value is already there in set. If this is already there in set means twice occurrence has has been achieved. So we will return true. So in case of one, so one one is already there in set means means what that it is satisfying the given criteria. So we have to return the true, right? So that is what it is. So yeah. Uh, uh, we'll solve this problem with this approach. Okay, we have integer, right? Uh, let me name it as entry equal to new hash set, right? And we'll be just looping through i less than nums dot length i plus plus and uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be checking if entry dot con contains, right? Contains, contains what? 
uh, the element right so nums of i if that is the case we'll be simply returning true because condition got satisfied and otherwise we'll be just uh, adding the entry adding the entry to the set right and if this condition never became true so yeah we have to simply return false right so yeah that is what our code is for this particular problem right so i'll be providing uh, the code link in the description but i believe if the approach is clear you'll be able to code this by yourself uh, irrespective of the language that you use for coding the main thing is that you should understand the approach and uh, how we are solving a particular problem once you're clear with this that i don't think language is uh, is it that important concerned concerned right so yeah thank you so much everyone and again a very very happy new year everyone enjoy your day and uh, yeah thank you bye bye